Welcome back guys, it is the next day. Um, getting a late start. We're gonna keep going forward with engine assembly and ignore suspension and subframes for now. Maybe later tonight I'll work on those. But right now I feel like getting this going is the move. So, uh, we have our rocker shaft one at a time. Will came over, I wasn't here this morning, and decided I should have put the head together off of the engine and then installed the head. I don't think it's going to be all that much different, to be honest with you. So we'll just we'll just see how it goes. So right now I'm going to um, turn the engine since it's time to relieve pressure so that the rockers are lined up, and then slide them through one at a time and keep turning each one so that the lobe is done. And then that one uh, rocker shaft will be in, and then we can do the same thing with. The exhaust side. So I'm gonna start working on that. It was definitely just hit it with the impact. That's what it that's how Zach and I timed it. Really? Yep. <laughs> Safety. Oh you're actually doing it. We didn't. <laughs> Not the best move. Yep. Oh, on that one. <laughs> this is the breaking. Just the breaking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, continuing on. We are professionals. That should get me the first two. Yep. Are you going to do both rocker shafts at the same time? No. Because there are different times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean, first two. Yeah. Might be a slight pain to keep them in place. Mm hmm. Like on top of that part. being held. <laughs> Rotate again. So get everything on and then rotate. That was kind of what I was thinking. Oh, so it was like in the right spot. No, I had to go a little bit. Oh, okay. 
All right, so now we need to get that back a little bit. I hit it too far. So maybe just a spray bar slightly on the cam gear. It looks all lined up for me. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be up and down. Well, I think about it like the clips that are gonna go on are gonna slide like over there. So it looks right. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw us install that. Probably none of that was the correct way. But is it together? It's together, nothing seems broken. So. And I'm thinking we can do the will thing and, you know, turn it over to full rotations to make sure it doesn't do anything. So let's see what happens. Uh oh, it stopped. Did it really? No. Oh. Dramatic. Seems pretty good. Yep. So, I will say though, we did not loosen any of these eccentrics. Um, kind of thinking, you know, just reuse where they were at. Some of them were a little too tight though. So, uh, we're gonna end up loosening those and doing a valve job, or valve, not a valve job, valve adjustment. Mm -hmm. The valve job has already happened. Yes. Um, so we need some studs for this side. Looks like we're two, t two studs short. Right there. And yeah, so I think do some install of the front covers and pulleys and things. And then I think Maybe go buy some uh, some belts. Actually, I don't think we need belts. Um, but buy some paint. Uh, I think we're gonna do wrinkle black on the intake manifold and the valve cover. So, no time to powder coat. We could do it, but it's I think the wrinkle black will look better anyway. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure our buddy Kale was gonna do it for free, so that we're not putting him out either. So, there we go. Guys, we went and ran our errands, got some paint. Now we're cleaning up some more stuff. 
So like I said earlier, we're definitely gonna do a, just wrinkle black paint instead of um, the original plan of uh, black powder coating. So I think it might look a little bit better, might be slightly less durable, but we will we'll get her looking pretty. It's gonna be good. And for everybody that gave suggestions of lots of colorful colors, I appreciate all those, but I was probably just gonna do black from the start, and that's what I'm doing. So. On to cleaning. Cleaning. All right, guys, back from running errands. I don't know if we, we showed how far we got in this uh, before we left. Looks pretty good. Got a new uh, cap and rotor in it. Cleaned up all the timing covers best I could. Got the new water pump pulley on, green pulley. All this stuff starting to go good. Uh, started finding things. This crush washer, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Right there is like not a circle anymore and yeah, it's kind of hard to tell so i got a new one of those we got a bunch of stuff going in the heated ultrasonic cleaner we got our auto body getting beautiful and i don't want to dig in there um thermostat housing oil cooler housing um, yeah that thing's magical you guys need one that cleans really well this thing 7950 omega sonic 80 degrees centigrade and so I got throw manifold out, clean that up a little bit. Uh, intake manifold, clean that up a little bit. And valve cover. So I'm going to paint a little bit. Uh, first game of football season is at 6:15 tonight. It is. Uh, it's Joel. I was trying to look at what time it was. I can't do that while I'm filming. Um, it's almost six, so I'm going to take a break soon. Watch that game. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are football fans or sports fans at all. It seems like a lot of car people don't really do sports stuff, and a lot of sports people don't really do car stuff. I enjoy yeah, both. Sports cars. Sports cars. Joel knows. <laughs> so, but I'm going to try and get the first coat on all of these, and then maybe come down, you know, on commercial breaks and stuff and get some more. Um, I'm in a fantasy football league. I don't know if we've talked about this before. I'm actually in two of them. I'm in one with my Denver college buddies, and I'm in one with my Laramie college buddies. And uh, the Denver college buddies, I, uh, I won the championship last year. So this is our trophy. D-Town Down is our league, and uh, that was me down there, double rainbow of fury. Um, and uh, it's signed by Ed McCaffrey. You guys know who that is? Broncos wide receiver from back in the day. His son, Christian McCaffrey, plays for the uh, Carolina Panthers, and is one of the top running backs in the league. But anyway, we got him to sign the trophy one time when we saw him. So, yeah, I'm going to be watching. I got a couple players in tonight's game. My buddy Joe, who I'm against, has a couple players in tonight's game. So I'm going to do some drinking and do some football watching uh, up there in the loft. So I don't know. Up there. Big TV. So let me get to, to painting some stuff, and I'll show you the how they could turn out. All right. Um, went ahead and did the coats on things. We got three coats of the wrinkle black per the instructions. So we'll see how it wrinkles up on its own. Oh, actually, it's kind of doing a good job on its own right now. Maybe I won't have to give a heat gun to it. That looks sweet. And then the, uh, whatever this is, uh, intake manifold. That's what this is. And then we got our exhaust manifold, our turbo manifold with the, the high heat header paint. So looks like there might have been a little bit of stuff like in it. So I might let this dry like entirely, cure up, and then um, put some more coats on top of it later and see if that stuff will off gas to the surface. But I got about 10 minutes till football starts. So I think I'm gonna work on getting the computer set up for that. And uh, I will come and show you guys these when they look a little bit different. So. All right, halftime of the game. Been a little drinking. Not as much as I wanted, but just chilling. Anyway, came down to look at the covers, intake manifold. They're looking all right. At this angle, it looks a little less, uh, I don't know, wrinkly. This angle, 
It looks great. Here. Where's my light go? Bring my light back. Hey, there we go. Motion sensor lights, they'll get you. So, oh God. I messed it up. Wasn't dry. <laughs> so, uh, I'm actually gonna put another set of coats on anyway, that was the plan. So, I was gonna paint the bottom of that one though because it kind of looked how it looked. This one I'm just gonna completely redo. Um, just came out blotchy, so I'm just gonna add more to it. Put another coat on the manifold. But yeah, I think I gotta, I don't know. I'm gonna load it up a little more, see if I can figure out a way to get all of it at once. We'll check on that. Half time though, we'll watch the rest of the game and then let's go back and build some more engine. Hey guys, flashlight on. Lights are kind of shitting out. One of these days we get some extra money, you're gonna be a big light investment. I see Adam LZ and a bunch of other people doing the lights. I don't wanna do the lights. No money right now though for that, but anyway. I'm sitting up here watching football, drinking stuff, and uh, cleaning parts on ultrasonic cleaner. And the crank position holder, after I cleaned it up, like has some super interesting stuff going on. Like, check this out. I think this cracked at some point, and somebody fixed it with like wire and some sort of epoxy. I can't actually see any cracks in it. But, um, I'm going to run this because somebody put some serious work into this. So, super cool. And it's still crazy how all these things are coming out, how clean they are. Like, it's really nice taking the time a little bit and do this. A little filter housing thing, which was super gross. There's, there's a little bit in there still. I'm still working on that little crevice, but it's pretty deep in there. But, yeah, I mean... You can get stuff like crazy clean with that thing. Dipstick, I mean, not that these are hard to clean, but. Anyway, football's going okay. Fantasy football. Nah, my buddy Joe's killing me. I made fun of him. He's killing me. Anyway, it's about halfway through the fourth quarter. Uh, the game's almost over, and I'll get back to engine building. Alright, guys. It's a little bit darker in here. I got the, the flash on the camera. I hope that's not weird for you guys to look at. Um, got downstairs and I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna get this. So I'm like, oh, I'll get the valve cover on tonight. It'll look sweet. Uh, so I decided to, decided to take oil. I'm like, oh, I'll just dump it in there, you know, get everything lubricated. Well, it was still upright at that point, a little bit farther that way. And then, uh, yeah, it started just uh, draining out that hole right there. Luckily, it went down the block to right there, but... So then I was like, oh, the drains in the head are only on this side. See, it? there, there, there. So I tilted it to the next hole over, like, farther than this. And then it started draining out of my oil drain bung onto the floor. So, I am, uh, I'm killing it right now on that, but... I'm going to get to it. I want to get this uh, valve cover on tonight. Uh, I put all these half moons in thing, the rocker seals. Uh, I think they're called half moons. I'm like, oh, cam, like dual overhead cam motors with the cam sits there. Those are called half moons. So I'm going to get all in there. And then, uh, yeah, I'm working on tightening these two studs we're taking out by the machine shop. This one and that one. So I'm working on getting those tightened in now. And then I think this uh, engine bracket is slightly bent. So I'm going to try to knock that a little bit straight. Dude, the wrinkle black is sweet. Um, the uh, Jimmy Oaks, shout out to Jimmy Oaks. He is the wrinkle black man, and I get it. Like, this is awesome. So I'm going to wait until they're on it. And then we'll grind all these bars out and the logo out and those bars out. And then on this one, all the bars and the BMW. Those will all be ground down to like a polished sheen. So I'm, I am stoked for that look. It's, it's not hard to stay late working on this stuff. Seriously, this, is, this has been a lot of fun. And 
our crappy or not crappy manifold i have no idea what this is um looks good coated i still have a bunch more you can see it's still like kind of reacting right in there a little bit um probably coated a few more times just so it looks even but yeah things are going good i am an engine builder man so all right i'm gonna clean up my oil some more and uh, get those tight look at the valve cover on there and then uh we will see what we're looking at if i could get the uh pretty much everything that we have outside here on before i leave tonight that would be super cool so right at this moment shameless plug not shameless plug i'm gonna take a break from this and uh i'm gonna go over to an engine that's over there and i'm gonna take a picture of it and i'm explaining to the patrons what it's for so if you are into knowing things before other people know things do that and then another thing for patrons that i really want to start doing um I want to pick a night of the week to do like a podcast slash live stream thing and have random people come hang out we talk about a topic so if you guys are into that we know i assume you will be but yeah but if you want to start putting topics down or people that you want to come see uh, like local people in denver i'll see who i can invite and stuff and sometimes you know we can travel and do them as well I want to do that. I love just talking randomly and answering questions. I'm way better at that than trying to just speak out of my own head. So, like looking at the hardware, I'm like, I should have bought new hardware to make it look better. But look at how great that looks. Here, I'll back it up a little bit for you. Bam. So, probably gonna let that sit a little bit longer before I try and grind that down. But man, the wrinkle black looks good. Uh, I'm gonna look and see if I can find a couple studs for right there, right now. And then, yeah, maybe uh, we mount up the turbo manifold next. Let the intake manifold dry a little more. And then I gotta decide what brackets that I actually wanna run here. Um, you can see there's a little bit more needs to dry when you look at it. It's a little shiny still. Um, or if I just wanna leave it as clean as possible. I think we're gonna utilize this port as our uh, catch can. Uh, Mr. John at VA Engineered is gonna work on running that somewhere once it's in the car. Look at how horrible my oil cap looks. Gotta clean that up. I straightened this out too. It was pretty bent. I hit it with the mallet a few times and looking much better. She's coming together guys. This is she's coming together. Stoked. Alright, I got a couple studs uh, and I got the manifold on. I always forget, I always think it's going to be super easy, and then I remember like, yeah, you can't get to half the bolts with an impact, so you got to like wrench it, and I'm pretty sure this thing is like pretty warped. So, we'll see if there's any exhaust leaks. I got everything pretty tight. Um, my technique for warped ones is, once it gets hot though, I just try to get in there and burn the shit out of my hand and crank it some more, instead of just taking it to somebody and having it cleaned. So, but Jason came by, he's hanging out. Yeah, late night. He was doing transmission E36 stuff. But I felt like before I get the intake manifold and do this side, I should just mount the turbo. I feel like that's a good idea, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so I'm gonna lift the camera up now. Oh! Man, she looks pretty large on there from the front, but I'm not the most stoked with the fitment, but I'm okay with it. I'm a little worried about spark plugs, spark plug wires melting, but we'll figure it out. If we gotta wrap them all, we will. But, yeah. Uh -uh. Like I said before, I forgot how hard it was to mount the headers, but we're there. These bolts, I don't think, are long enough. And I'm missing one nut there, of these studs. So, I will figure that out. I had to clock the turbo a little bit there. Just temporary. Like I said, this is going to John to, uh, He's gonna figure out all the clocking for intercooler parping and then figure out the downpipe or side pipe or whatever. And then wastegate dump, we're still gonna dump that down um, so that it's not super loud when the wastegate opens for uh, the driver. But I guess it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because the whole exhaust is going there. So it's gonna be loud either way. But maybe we won't get some weird fluttering effect. So either way. And I think we've decided, talking to John, so we're obviously going to run oil in and out. 
but I think we also are going to run coolant to it just to make this last a little bit longer. Um, Max Speedy Rods has been super nice and helpful to us, but it's kind of one of those things like, I just don't want this to suck something straight into the engine. So we're going to try to make this live as long as it will. But I think now I'm going to get the, uh, the old whiz wheel out and uh, grind this down, see what it looks like. I think it's set up enough that it should work. And let's see what that looks like all polished up. And then when that's done, then we'll get the intake on in front of it. I don't think I'm going to run any of these brackets here. We're just going to get rid of all of those, I think, because I think they might look weird being silver anyway. I don't know. I haven't totally decided yet, just pretty much decided. So, yeah, I found all my studs. I still need to tighten this one, I think, a little bit, but got all nuts. Got washers on all of them. Oh, my flash just died because my battery's too low. So, I'm going to get back to work and plug this in, and I'll be back. All right. Probably going to call it a night from here. Let's do a little cleaning up, but it's in the light out here. Look at what we got going on. That is a very pretty sight. This is a very pretty engine. Um, I started polishing the raised parts. Uh, I think it was slightly too soon. Look, and there's just a little bit of paint like peeling up. And I nicked it once right there. Um, a lot of this is just like the aluminum dust. And when you wipe it, it'll come off, and I'm going to wait for it to set up a little bit more before I attack it tomorrow. But I'm going to wait to clean that up, clean all that up right there, and then uh, probably going to pull these studs out. Actually, that's pretty smooth. I might be able to get away with just putting the gasket over that and not having to do it. But, yeah. This thing is gorgeous. It is super coming together. I am. I'm over the moon about this, guys. This is. This is pretty. So. All this to go in a car that's worth a case of beer. Probably won't be worth a case of beer when we're done. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys have a great day, night, whatever you guys have got going on. And, uh, See you tomorrow.